Hi everyone, it's Imogen from the Speech and Language Therapy team. So today I am going to be talking about something called colourful semantics. So I know lots of you have been using colourful semantics in class. You've been using it to help you with your reading, with your writing and in some communication sessions. So today we're going to recap on the signs that go along with our colourful semantics colours. And we're going to think about some activities we can think of and do at home to practice using our colourful semantics. So I know a lot of you will know our little sayings that we have when we do our colourful semantics work. So we're going to practice them now and you can practice them or teach anyone who you're at home with. So our first one is who. Who. And we say, orange words tell us who. So our next word is doing and we say yellow words tell us what we are doing. Our third word is what and we say green words tell us what. Fourth word is where and we say blue words tell us where. Now some of you might have learned some of the other words, so we're going to practice them, but if not, this is a good time for you to learn them. So we've got when, when, and our brown words tell us when. You've also got your cloud words. So our cloud words tell us what things are like. So now I'm going to give you some examples of words that would go with our different colours. So, dog would be a who word. Mum would be a who word. Man would be a who word. So our orange words would tell us who. Think of some yellow doing words. So, cooking would be a doing word. Mm. Eating would be a doing word. Running would be a doing word. So our yellow words tell us what we are doing. So we now need to think of our green words that tell us what. So cake would be a what word. Book would be a what word. And glasses would be a what word. Now we need to think of our blue where words. So we could use at home. That's a where word. So school would be a where word. If you were in the car, that would be a where word. So we can think about our when words now. So at the weekend would be a when. Today and next week would be a when word. So our days of the week and the time at which something happened would be our when words in a sentence. So now we're going to think about cloud words and they tell us what things are like. So it can tell you how someone is feeling. So they might be feeling happy or a bit scared. It can tell you what something feels like if you touch it. So it might feel smooth or if it was your dog, it might feel hairy. It can also tell you what something looks like. So if something is really big, or if it's really small, and that would all be our cloud words. So have a go at practicing your signs at home and practicing our colorful semantics mantra. If you can, have a look around the house and see which categories and colors that you'd put your words in. If you can make sentences with your words, that's even better. Good luck and I'll see you soon.